all right guys inheritance video 3 okay so as you can see here all right okay uh i have uh create another class called polygon right okay so i have uh, compiled all the similar things here right uh which is the uh, three data members okay and the function display okay so we go back to main okay it's still the same thing rectangle r1 t1 r1 dot display and r t1 dot display when if i run this program now okay right if i run this program now there will be an error and we need to see that error before i'll explain to you uh, on how we use virtual functions okay so now let's run this program you can see an error there can you see that the error is in calc the calling of the function which is here right line 10 okay here okay why is this a problem okay you see uh, when we talk about inheritance right you can only inherit uh, in a way where the derived class or the child class okay can inherit from the base class or the parent class so uh, to give you a better understanding I'm going to use the term uh, parent class and child class but remember okay you have to you have to know that the terms can be used interchangeably where base class is parent class and uh, child class is derived class right okay so uh, in any situation when you use inheritance okay only a child class can inherit from the parent class and it doesn't go the other way around okay where the parent cannot um, inherit from the child only the child can inherit from the parent which is why we call inheritance in such a way okay so in this case as you can see okay wwh area no problem display is not a problem the problem is calc why because as you can see the function definition for calc okay is in both class rectangle and class triangle respectively which means okay the ownership of calc okay is owned by rectangle here and the definition for function calc here is owned by triangle which means uh i shall say in a layman term okay this is a property of class triangle and this is a property of class rectangle and the parent class here okay having to call this function okay where the function doesn't belong to them okay uh it cannot be done because inheritance can only be done where the child inherit from the parent like for example the child can inherit all the data members right like here okay i don't have declaration of w and h in class rectangle okay or area but i can use them because i inherit from my parent uh as for display right i don't have any definition of display here okay i can just use my parents one the one that my parent has which is this but then the ownership of calc the function calc me as a child class it belongs to me and it's not belong to my parent okay so what we can do in this case right we still want to call calc here right okay so what we can do is okay we will do it in such a way where i'll tell you a story okay so let's say uh you study in unit 10 okay and um while you're a student okay you cannot uh while you're a student you cannot afford to buy a car right or a motorcycle okay so what uh you can do is basically okay you can ask help from your parent or your caretaker okay where they can buy you a car but then technically speaking when they buy the car they have to get a loan and you don't have a job yet so when they get the loan and get the ownership of the car car okay let's say uh me right i'm a student so i need a car to be uh, so that i can use in campus right a car or a motorcycle okay so what happened is i can't buy it because i don't have a job and i don't have a job i don't have proof of income therefore i cannot get a loan i can't get a loan to 
to buy a vehicle. So what I can do is I can ask my parent to help me. Like for example, I ask my mom. So my mom, okay, is going to use her name, her credentials to uh, get a loan to buy a car for me. So technically speaking on paper, legally, right? Okay, the ownership of the car belongs to my mother. But I will be the one who use it, okay? By any chance, my mom will never drive that car. Anyway, my mom will have her own car, right? But she used her name to get a car for me. So legally, the car is is my mom's, okay? So it's owned by my mother. But uh, I'm the one who use it as a child. So can you see that? So if you look at a quote here, as a child, I'm the one who use car. Technically, I'm the one who use it. But I need the ownership to be my parents, okay, in this case. So how do we uh, do that in program? It's very simple. We go to protected since calc is basically a private function, right? So when it comes to the parent class, we put it under protected, okay? So we have a keyword called virtual, right? Virtual. Virtual void calc, okay? That's the function name. And I'm going to put here equals to zero, okay? This is a very important line. Why? Because when you put virtual void calc, what you're saying is virtually, right? Okay. Legally, this function belongs to the parent. Polygon. Okay. This function belongs to this class. But then technically, my kids are going to use it. So my kid, my child named rectangle is going to use it. And my child triangle is going to use it. Okay. In very different way. Okay. Uh, rectangle is going to use it different differently. Triangle is going to use it differently. Okay, but then they are still the same. I mean, function name. So virtual void cal makes the ownership of this function to be the parents, and it looks like the child inherit the the function from the parent, but it's being uh, used in different ways, as you can see here. Okay, right. So when I add virtual void calc, okay. Uh, equal to zero, which means uh, this is a function without um, without definition, right? Okay, but then when it is overloaded in the child class, it can be used differently. This guy and this guy. All right. So it's owned by the parent, but it is used differently by all the children. Okay. So when I add this line, okay, earlier I have a problem, right? So when I add this line. When I go to main and now I run this program, you can see that the error is no more and we get the output. All right. Okay. So um, that is virtual function. Okay. Right. So uh, next video, we will discuss on how you can use this with pointer and how you can have a selection of what kind of object to be created. Okay, so stay tuned. I'll see you in the other video.